Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to complete the W8BEN E form. In a previous video, I showed you how to complete the W8BEN form, which is for individuals and sole proprietorships. On the other hand, the W8BEN form is for business entities like corporations and partnerships, and is much longer and honestly feels quite intimidating because it's eight pages long. There are many scenarios when completing the W8BEN E form. But in this tutorial, I'm going to cover one of the most common scenarios that is for a corporation. So this is the latest W8BEN E form at the time of recording this video, and you'll find the link in the description section. Let me scroll down to part one. In line one, enter the name of your organization. In line two, enter the country of incorporation. You can leave line three blank. In line four, check this box for corporation. Let me scroll down to line 5. Here check this box for active NFFE, which is non-financial foreign entity. And here it tells you that you need to complete part 25. But first let's continue to complete part 1. Let me scroll down. In line 6, enter the permanent residence address of your organization. You can leave line 7 blank if your mailing address is the same as your permanent address. Lines 8 and 9A you can leave blank. In line 9B for foreign TIN or tax identification number, enter your business number. In Canada, you'll be assigned a 9 digit business number. In line 10, you can leave it blank. Let me scroll down. Part 2 is not applicable, so you can skip it. Let me scroll down to part 3, which is related to claiming tax treaty benefits. Canada has a tax treaty with the US so you can avoid double taxation. Check this box for line 14A. Enter the name of your country, in my case Canada. Check this box for line 14B, which is related to US tax treaties that have a limitations of benefits article, as is the case for Canada. And also check this box for a company with an item of income that meets active trade or business test. In line 15, Enter Article 7 Business Profits and enter 0 for percentage rate of withholding. Enter services for type of income. And for the explanation, you can write something like Beneficial owner has a permanent establishment only in Canada and all work is performed in Canada as per Article 5. Next, you can skip all of these parts of the W8 Ben form and then go straight down to Part 25 which is active NFFE, and check this box for line 39. Finally, we can scroll down to part 30, which is certification. Make sure that you read all these declarations. Enter your signature in this area. Print your name here. Enter the date. And finally, check this box certifying that you have the capacity to sign for the entity. And that's pretty much it. Well, hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And thanks for watching.